uh, our my Xbox power supply is a little loud. It's not very loud, but I, I know I've heard some people complain about theirs sounding like well, a freaking jet engine, like it's about to fly away. Now this power supply is only for the Xbox One, not for the Xbox One S. The Xbox One S has a power supply built in, but I'm gonna show you guys how to take this apart safely and be able to put it back together so it still works and how to go about uh, fixing the noise inside, the, the fan that's inside of it that makes uh, the, the sound that it does. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna unplug it from the wall and then from your Xbox. It would be very very smart to just mm. do it in the wall. You'd be surprised. <laughs> so really? yeah, don't do that, unplug it. So I'm gonna set this power cord aside and I'm gonna keep just the brick with this. This, this cord doesn't come out. So I'm gonna show you guys how to physically take it apart first of all. And the first thing you're gonna see is on the very bottom here, I don't know if you guys can see that, is uh, there are uh, these rubber feet. These rubber feet need to come off because that's where the bolts, I believe, are. <laughs> so I'm gonna use- there aren't bolts anywhere else. Yeah. This was just like soldered together. So the tools you're gonna need for this are going to be a T10 uh, security bit. Um, mine doesn't actually have the security dot in the center of it like the Xbox 360 did, but the Xbox One doesn't seem to have that. So I pulled one out uh, just to look at it and the rubber foot actually came off uh, entirely and it kind of fell apart. So that is, it might be a problem uh, for you. If you care about that, that's gonna be an issue. If you wanna just fix it, this is gonna be what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing these. Unfortunately, it may not be uh, the best uh, for these little feet. And then you're also going to need uh, a type of oil. The oil that, we're, that I usually use is lithium grease, but I found uh, recently that machine oil, uh, sewing machine oil specifically, actually works better. So I'm gonna be using that. I don't have much in this one. I packed up the rest. If you notice behind us, there's a ton of boxes. Yeah, we're moving tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they're making this video the day before we start packing all of our stuff in containers and moving back down to Southern California. Uh, we're, we're currently in the Seattle area. <laughs> Ethan's last day of school, uh, it will be tomorrow actually. Yeah, and uh, then, then he'll go to school back down in Southern California. So uh, again, I like to use uh, machine oil. Um, again, I have a tiny bit in there, but you only need a drop. So it doesn't really matter uh, what we end up using there. A lot of people I know use this. Good old WD-40. Now WD-40 is a great lubricant for things like chains and hinges. Like bike chains? Like bike chains, yeah. Or you like, like chainsaw chains and stuff like that. The reason for it is it works both as a lubricant and a degreaser. So it'll get rid of all the grime and gunk or rust or whatever it may be. And well, it doesn't remove rust, but it allows it to lubricate those parts there. Now, better than this is the spray version of this, the lithium, the white lithium grease works far better than this, um, only because again, this kind of degreases as it lubricates. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it breaks down really, really fast and something moving as fast as a fan inside of this not gonna hold up to it for very long. You're gonna end up having to do this over and over again. So you'd have to do it like once a month. Uh, yeah, and on top of that, WD-40 breaks down certain types of plastics. So if this plastic is old enough, like if you got this Xbox a while back, and it, it, I don't know what kind of plastics they used on the fan, it could physically make it fall apart. So I would divert away from using this altogether. I use this a lot in the garage but not on electronics, like never on electronics. Mm -hmm. Unless it says, there is a WD-40 that says white lithium grease. That is okay to use. But you're only gonna be needing, like I said, just a freaking drop. So that's not necessary to use something so massive. And then if it, all this doesn't work out, I'm gonna show you guys an alternative um, at the very end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove all these little bits and pieces. I have a little tiny flathead screwdriver I'm gonna use to remove the feet off of this. I'm gonna see if they come out a little bit better this time. Makeshift chisel. Oh uh, yeah, that, come, that came out a lot nicer. But so they're plastic underneath and then they're rubber on top. So if you jam the screwdriver, a flathead, down the side of it and pop it up, it tends to come up whole. Like yeah, so if you have a small flathead, I'm using this as like a multi-bit piece, but if you have a small flathead screwdriver, I think that'll work better as opposed to like a knife. And jam it way down it at an angle and then pop it right up and the whole thing just kind of pops up like that. You see that? Yeah, it's kind of nice. Here, I'll do this one really close to the camera and see if 
you can see what I'm doing. Just like go right underneath the rubber. Uh, this thing has two prongs, but it doesn't matter if it has one prong. It just happens to be this type of bit. So I'm going to kind of jam it in there at a, like a 45 degree angle. I'm going to shove into it a little bit. And I'm going to pop it right up. It pops right up. It's kind of nice. It's like magic. It is like magic. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab my, my T10 right here. And then I'm going to put in the description below where to buy... Uh, both the lithium or three things actually where to get the the t10 screwdriver if you want to just buy the one screwdriver I'll also put a link to one of these little kits that has a bunch of little bits in it But I don't know if you care about that <laughs> I'm also gonna put a link in there for the uh, the lithium grease if you want to choose to use that and a link for the machine oil And I'll put a star next to the stuff. I prefer to use um, as opposed to the stuff. That's just uh, just okay to use you're gonna put the, like the WD-40 I'm not gonna put WD-40 I'm not gonna put WD-40 on there because again I don't really recommend the WD-40 so okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove these screws Ethan's gonna hold that for me okay and they're fairly long Holy so I'll God. go ahead and put those right there just to save them Boy, so now this plastic. exactly just holding to plastic so this is just gonna come apart simply uh, by pulling it apart voila and then this is going to come out a, a little more challengingly. So this bottom part, it's on there kind of tight because there's some mounting tape on the bottom side right here. If you see where the cord is, on my left side, if the cord is facing you on your left, if I pull it apart, it's kind of glued in there a little bit. And you can see all the dirt and dust. When you pull it apart, be careful though, there is one cord that's connecting the fan to the main board. You can simply just unplug that by pulling on it ever so slightly. So uh, what I did was I held the housing in place while I pulled on the cord as to not rip this away because it wants to tear away from the, the power supply. Also remember, capacitors are like batteries. Yeah, that's the power cord that we just pulled yeah. apart right there. Capacitors are like batteries. Don't puncture those, don't do anything with this portion because it could still hold voltage. Uh, the other thing you, you may want to do is you want to blow this out. Just simply just use, use your mouth or if you spit a lot, you use it condensed compressed air. Plug. Yeah. So we're going to set this part, this piece right here, we're going to set it aside because we're not going to be doing anything with that. You're going to leave that the crab alone. Don't touch it. Mess with that piece. Don't. Then this bottom piece as well, we're going to leave that alone. And then this is where the fan housing actually is. It's a uh, tiny fan. We are going to be needing a, uh, a small Phillips head screwdriver, something teeny tiny like this. Uh, not like sunglass repair size, but slightly bigger than that. We're going to carefully remove these four screws right here. There's oh, it's three. actually three. I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. My bad. Exactly. Look at all that grodiness oh. inside. That's what causes your uh, th the noise for the most part. And it also, it's a good idea to actually remove this every once in a while and clean it out because these tend to overheat over time and it's good to uh, to clean them out so I'm they guessing, don't like, the they dust don't overheat. Is the problem of yeah, the overheat. yeah, especially if you have something where you have an overheat error where you have the little red light turn on. Um, this could You're be the issue, quite, quite honestly. I mean, if it does shut off because of overheating, this could be one of the main reasons because it gets clogged up with all the dirt. See all that? That's freaking gross. That's and disgusting. I'm not gonna blow that out right here. I'm gonna actually go blow this out outside because I don't want this all over the carpet. I'll be right back, dudes. All right, so we got it mostly clean. It's not like perfect or anything like that. Um, we still have to remove now the fan from its housing. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna set this guy, the thing we just removed, set that aside. If you wanna put the screws inside of that just to hold it for a moment, you can go ahead and do that. And then now we're just gonna go ahead and remove these three screws right here that are holding this fan uh, down to the housing. Is it one, two? Yeah, one, two, three. I believe it's one, two, three. We'll, we'll find out in a second. It's three and then... Like no, those, those two are the actual pieces that hold the fan together. Yeah. The fan for the Xbox 360 is a lot simpler. Like a lot simpler. Like a lot, a lot. But yeah, like it, it, it's easily accessible right now. Um, there's no more taking apart. But on the uh, the Xbox One, it's it seems to be a little better put together, I guess. If you guys want to see on how to repair the Xbox 360 power supply, I'll put a link down in the description below. We did a video on that probably two years ago, something along those lines. I don't know. <laughs> it was it was it was a couple years ago at least. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that there as well. So there we go. Now we remove this piece from the fan. There's so now we're gonna go ahead. Inside the yeah. Fan. Now there's dust. Uh, the majority of the dust is gonna be inside this fan. We're gonna go ahead and actually take this apart by removing these two screws and removing this clip here and this clip here, and that should completely take it apart. Go ahead and do that. Those are very tiny, like, screw bits. They are little tiny screws. These are probably like number twos. 
would you like me to, can I take it off? So you're gonna use this flathead and you're gonna pop this off. Okay. There you go. And then do the oh, same. Oh wow, I saw like dust just like pop out. Yep. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and remove this housing and you're gonna see there's even more dust inside. We can actually take it apart by removing this from the brushes. This is or from the, the center. So these are the magnets that make the fan go round and round. Uh, that's where, this is where we're gonna be putting uh, lubrication is on this little tiny shaft in the center right here, but we're gonna remove all the dust first. Uh, I'll be right back. We're gonna go ahead and blow this outside and clean this crap off. So there we go, we cleaned out the parts as well as we can. If you can get it more clean than this, you go right on ahead and do that. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and put a drop of oil. We're gonna put a drop of this oil here um, again, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this oil from. Go ahead and add a drop to the center, just right onto the tip of that shaft right there. The tip of the, the center of the motor. There. Okay, that's all you really need. That's it. And we're gonna go ahead and center that and we're gonna drop it right back on there. And uh, it moves nice and smoothly. Cool, and that's basically it. It's gonna plug in, it'll work beautifully. It's not gonna sound like anything more than just the regular power supply did when you first got it. If that doesn't fix it, that means it's got way more issues than just simply the fan be making noise. So I'm gonna show you guys this right here. This is a, a Benny Glow uh, power supply. Let's go ahead and crack it open. When it's on standby, it goes orange. So that means there's, it's ready for you and then when the power is good, it's, uh, the light turns green. I mean, it's ready to go. Wait, wait, so oh, crack, crack this guy open, <laughs> toss that box, and let's take a look at this guy. Again, this is aftermarket. This is not, this is not OE equipment, but uh, from the reviews I read, this is supposed to be a pretty good piece and there's nothing more satisfying than peeling the plastic off of a new unit. Wait, can I do the big piece? Yeah, go for it. Gosh. Okay, as you can see, it says for Xbox One console. Um, everything about it it's looks fairly standard. I'm gonna go ahead and test this one out and see how well it works with my Xbox. Um, it's a, a certified product. I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy this. Uh, the price on it's really, really good. And uh, if you guys want to, like I said, if you guys want to see the difference on the internals between this and this, and if you guys want to see like a full review, whether or not this is worth having or not, or go with a, try to find an OEM one, uh, right off the bat, I can tell you that this, the OEM one is slightly heavier than uh, the new one that I just got, the replacement. If you guys do want to see that, let us know. Hi Genji. <laughs> let us know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you guys have any questions, 
feel free to leave them in the comment section and we'll try to answer them uh, to the best of our ability. Yeah. yeah. If you guys are all new to this channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button, it is uh, it's very, <laughs> very well appreciated. And if you click the little bell, it turns on notifications and it lets you do to do that to know when we upload our videos. And until next time, guys, see ya. Bye.